what I love about I'm a Piano, I've seen girls throughout this entire documentary. The, the girl with the dancing, and she was like, this is what made me go viral. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. What's good, y'all? It's the Dumashats React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today, we are back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell, because we're, we're on the road to 100 K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video from the streets of South Africa to dance floors around the world. This is the sound of the hottest new music genre. This is Amapian. It's African dance music. Jazz music merged with some hip hop elements. Bacardi and a bit of Kwaito. You can't really describe it until you hear it. It's slowed down house music, I could say. And some soul with, uh, with the key. I think he was right. I think he's he's dead on the nail. You can't describe it until you hear it. Right. Like once it hits your radio, it's so distinctive. Mm -hmm. Like you be like, yo, that's a yo, this slaps. Like, yeah. Oh snap, that's what that is. And then you start to really get into the vibe of, you know what I'm saying? But it's so standoffish from all other genres. It's dope. Bro. It is. Like I hear that that beat. Like that beat that just makes you wanna, you know, it's like do a little shoulder shake or something. That's like they were in the treasure <laughs> chest for this one. Yeah. They say, you know, we're gonna have to crack open the box for y'all. Yes. <laughs> It's a spiritual thing, you know. And of course, you can't forget the lock drum, a beautiful pumping sound. I'm a piano is a sound that will take you to a place that you never thought you would see. When the world went into a lockdown, there was no other genre working as hard as I'm a piano. I don't know if we've ever seen anything like this before, but this is the new wave now. An original sound from South Africa. Touches you, it touches you differently. Yeah, I hear you on that. I'm trying to take over the world. I think that's our national treasure right now. You know, I think I think that's our highest export. Finally, South. You know what, Lord? This is the second time we paused already. Sorry, guys. All right. You know what I um think about this? I feel like you remember. Being from Louisiana, this is like what, uh, middle school years, around middle school years, and the trill music came out. Yeah, 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 I feel like. And how, like, yeah. it was the hottest thing, and it really took over the country. It did. You know, um, and then, you know, the Atlanta sound that took over the country, and then, you know, the New York, of course, we all know, Concrete Jungle, Jay-Z, all that. Facts. It reminds me of that and although we have not reacted to a lot of you know african music during the time we were reacting to music during the time um, i just feel like i'm a piano is that and although you know mansa main is the first introduction that we've gotten from yeah. this genre mm -hmm. i feel like when people think of the south in in the united states they know what type of music that they're that that we're known for yeah we have a different sound yeah and so it, when i look at africa now sorry guys in other places um but when i look at africa now i'm gonna think of i'm a piano yeah you know like it's such a distinctive it's sound. winning it's definitely winning and you yeah. gotta let it you gotta give them this flowers now because you see how powerful it is mm -hmm. man like i said they went in a chess yes. box for this one this one is powerful yeah it's like i could see us in the club boom, boom. <laughs> nah, for real, come on now, don't, don't get me started now. And it's changing the game, you know? Bro, I'm a piano, it's big, it's huge, it's bigger than all of us. I'm a piano for me, it's black success. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, I, I promise. Like that. We are not going to keep stopping. We going to try to play it through, but... But we, the type of reactors we are, like, we give a full analysis. Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't, don't come here and be like, oh, I don't like the way y'all react. Oh, well. We're going to do us. This reminds me of the 60s and the 70s. Motown. Motown. And I was going down the same alley as that, like... You don't see that no more. Right. You really don't. And so a big respect to that, like, the whole visual of them doing that and people just standing around, minding their business, actually watching some listening, they just right there doing their thing. Do you remember yes. the days when they had the cans? Yeah, and they and singing the in the can. Yeah. Yeah. That's how the best music was created. Facts, facts. Look at what y'all doing, South Africa. Yeah. Sorry, too. This is home. This is what made U Taliwanga become who he is today. Taliwanga began singing in his school choir, and now he's Amapiano's top vocalist. When we talk Amapiano, we, we are not only talking the music, because for you to for you to experience the music, you need to be where Amapiano is. The part of South Africa that I'm trying to bring to the world is the townships. Built out of apartheid segregated city planning, townships, also known as ikas, are a melting pot of style, music, hustle, and culture. Mixed out of bedroom studios. Like us, yeah. So, till till now, Musa say like us, see, Musa push on the music. So, the connection, you understand? Nana Mangan's music, if you fun, I'm sure, I'm going to go. I don't forget the instrument, it's good simple because now it's good to have a next street, good at Hammer and Gula or Velta Lichita or Velta. It's like you saw it, you put it on gate. Okay, I tried my best not to pause again. <laughs> but hearing this, seeing the lead vocalist, the, well, the top vocalist, and then they go to the DJ and how he's talked about how he was, he really pushed it heavy in the early days. It reminds me of DJ Jubilee. Okay. So if you are not if familiar with like old time Louisiana bounce music, you may not know what I'm talking about. Right. But bounce music has taken over the world. And if you have heard Beyonce, I'm sure you heard of bounce music by now with her featuring Big Frida. So can we just like add that to the charts as well? How bounce music was once upon a time on a, on a piano in reference. Um, meaning that how on a piano has came in and took over. Right. Bounce music was once upon a time that new yeah. thing in yeah. the, for it the was, people's ear. Right. And it was so street because when people heard bounce. Right. Ooh. And it took that one DJ to push it. Facts. To push it. Now, I know that y'all have been working for years in this genre, and it really, you know, has started started taking off, taking over the world, mm -hmm. right? This is just the beginning. If this is reminding us so much of the origins of music in our country, and we're relating this to that, this is only the beginning. Facts, facts. Only the beginning. Translated in the Zulu language, Amapiano simply means the piano. The piano came from the genre's early jazz influences. Wait a minute! It's a blend of me. Oh, look. Wait a minute. <laughs> Y'all didn't say the Zulus created this. Y'all didn't say that. Y'all didn't say that. In reference of Zulus, I think Amapiano simply means piano. Oh, okay. Yeah, but why yeah, are they yeah. referencing it? 
with the Zulu lady. Yeah, because why the Zulu? They could have said anyone else. Now, y'all know how we feel about our Zulus. Well, y'all could have said anybody else, but y'all did it for the Zulus now. Y'all ain't say that, because we've been seeing, we gonna, do this documentary, do yeah. this documentary. We're like, okay, we'll do it. Yeah, we're going to talk but a little bit more about that, But if y'all would have said that, the relation, we would have been it. Bend hmm. it. <laughs> Genres, along with white music, local house music that dominated the airwaves in the 90s. Remember that. Yeah. Okay. Mosquito is the godfather of South African dance music. The legendary producer and Kwaito pioneer explained how it all started. Kwaito is the foundation of Amapiano. Uh, the guys uh, who really influenced Amapiano, they started playing this deep house, you know what I'm saying, but at a slower pace. Do you understand? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then from there, they started now programming at a slower pace, the way Kwaito started. But with Ama Piano, they flipped it and made the drum the bass and the bass the drum. Ooh. Basically, uh, the first mm. that actually changed everything is, is the log drum. The log drum. It's a raw bass line the, with a that's heavy raw. kick drum mm -hmm. effect. Yo, that's raw. When you hear it, you know you're listening to Ama Piano. In a studio session, I sat in with three of the sound's top producers. The log drum, it, it needs to be balanced. It's a bass, but at the same time, you need to add a sub bass underneath just to give it that. So Thank usually you. that's how, this is how it sounds. Again. I like that. Whatever he just added, that whistle. <laughs> There's a phrase that says I'm a piano is a lifestyle, and, and what does that phrase mean to you? It's your everyday life. You wake up, you eat I'm a piano, you drink I'm a piano. I play my piano when I wake up. And for me, it just puts me in like this, listen, let's go, let's, let's go. go, anything let's go. is possible. It feels like a culture. It feels so, like, it, it's, a, it's a vibe. It's about the fashion sense. The way you dress. Drip. <laughs> Amma piano is about drip. If you ain't dripping, I don't know, like... <laughs> People like to also compare piano DJs to hip-hop guys. Like, you know, they had their own street culture. But if you can see, these kids, they dress like Americans, they dress hip-hop, they dress whatever, but now they've become to say, that we are authentic, this is our sound. I think it's, it, it's an aspiration. You know, even the way they talk and move, it's about personality, it's about being authentic, like realness, you know? It's a lifestyle now. We know it's in Monday to Wednesday. I we rest three days. We can cut out on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that's the lifestyle. No matter where you're from, there's one thing about a piano that unites everybody. When you listen to it, you want to move. Africa is a, is a dance continent. South Africa is a dance country, you know. Dance music has always been big this side. I'm also fascinated by that. I think the way that South African people dance is very unique. Yeah, even the dance is like, kind of, it's on, doesn't like, really for exist anywhere. It's kind of slightly offbeat. It's this kind of fluid way of moving. And sometimes it can be very subtle, but super impactful at the same time. And I think it always takes people, it mesmerizes people. And there's this way of kind of, I want to be a part of that. I want to be able to do that. And I'm going to practice in my bedrooms so that when I go to the next Ama Piano party, I can be on the dance floor and I can yeah. do it too. Yeah. But uh, like balancing those moments with the moments where you see people on their phones trying to shazam, like mm -hmm. what's happening here? Yeah. Because I ain't never heard this before. Like, and we'll come and ask you like, what is this? And you say, I'm a piano. What's that? <laughs> Dance is what moves it on a piano track. Then Gabu Pia it. is the queen of the dance floor. Ama Piano, there's easy dance moves that make people feel like they can all dance. We do add simple moves, but we, we didn't build our brand to be simple. We need to be at a point where some people want to learn the choreo so much that they can't get it right, and they're always working hard. I've got two left feet. Um, I can't express myself like you do, Yeah. Uh, but I want to learn today. OK, cool. So. This is the dance move that we call it the balega, but it's actually inspired by Michael Jackson. Okay. And that's what also made me viral. 
Right, so. Hey, we can do that. Yeah. It's not too like, bad. Look, like he's doing it. See? Hashtag I'm a piano has generated billions of views <laughs> and videos on TikTok. Viral dance challenges from every corner of the world. Yeah, 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 that, that's more right there. Bases and, new heights. and no one knows a dance challenge better than I'm a piano powerhouse, Durban Gogo. Dance challenges are like a different life form to I'm a piano. They are the things that actually help songs move before they even drop. Dagi Way was, was a big song, but like the dance challenge was like even bigger. Do you plan these dance challenges? Okay, mm. so what I am seeing is that it's not just heavily males. Yeah. And oftentimes, like our music going back to like, you know, trill music, bounce, maybe not bounce music, mm -hmm. but a lot of like the Atlanta sound a lot of the, the Florida sound is heavily influenced by males. And, you know, they'll have, like, three, four top women, mm -hmm. if that. No, 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 no. I think, I think you're right. It is heavily influenced by male, but we are, like, in a time where I feel like a lot of more female artists right. are just, like, popping in, popping yeah, in, I'm, popping now, in. Now. Now, now. But, but I'm not talking back about in, the origins. Like, like when, when Trill when fan was popping started. out. I can't think of any trill type of female i think as an artist it may have one like they, when they i have think one. of I just, trill i think of boosie webby uh um, yeah no doubt uh, the guys rolling rolling i can't think of the name uh. them people <laughs> <laughs> can't think of the names but like you know florida I'm not even going to start naming some people because I don't listen to, to a lot of it too much anymore. I feel you, though. So I've forgotten a lot of the names. But what I love about I'm a Piano, I've seen girls throughout this entire documentary. The, the girl with the dancing, and she was like, this is what made me go viral. Yeah, you yeah, You know? Yeah. Um, and now they're going to a female artist. Mm -hmm. So it's like everybody did it collectively. And what I would love to know, Definitely hopefully... Unified. Right. Well, I would love to know, hopefully, they'll um, answer this question in the documentary. I would love to know, was these people working together or were they working separately this entire time? Hmm. And just came together, you know. They all look like they're working together. Even yeah. if they don't even know each other, I feel like they all working together, man, because the sound is collective. It is. The dance is collective. Yeah. To the lady who's, you know, killing with the dance, from the DJs, you know what I'm saying? So whenever the stream starts to come out and it hits the eardrums, man, everybody's on board. Mm -hmm. So what happens when a, a, with a group of people do something that everyone is watching, everyone else starts to do it and it just starts to grow more and more. So whether they knew each other or not, I feel like they was already on board with one another. You know how God, you know how God yeah. works. Yes. You know how, you know what happens when he, yes. yeah. Because, hold on, baby. You good, you good. <laughs> you go. Like, you know, like, um, this is the documentary that we're watching, but let's say decades from now, mm -hmm. when they are going back to the roots of how, you know, this big sensation sound has impacted culture, music culture, period. Mm-hmm. Who are going to be the faces of that? Like, who are they going to call on that and say, we have to call on this person because this person was an intricate part of this genre. Yeah, they're going to have to sort through all the new sounds. Well, not the new sounds. The popping sounds that uh, people grew on the ladder of a, a piano mm -hmm. and come back down to the roots of who actually started it. Right. And I feel like sometimes they get misled by it because that one big star... You know, a piano just popped off, but let's say, like you said, years down the line, you got a newer big star. They'll probably start right. there. You know right. what I'm saying? Who they are, who they are looking up to? Yeah, who they're now looking up to? Like, right. but y'all need to like break it back all the way down to like yes. the A ones. Yes. You know so, what I'm saying? I love that females are getting their shine. Too. Yes, definitely. Challenges, or do you work them out? Do you do you sit at home, look at a mirror, and say, "This is what we're going to do when we go to this gig"? There's videos of myself doing that same dance even like months before that specific one um trended do you know how some of these dance challenges become like very political because people are like i did it first or i didn't it's like actually it's kind of what we were just saying know, these dances come from the streets it's probably from little kids someone saw it and then everyone starts doing it now um but i think that one in that specific moment trended because it was the first time that there were so many people doing it at the same time. So everyone was like, oh, I actually want to do that with my friends too. 
Hey, hey. All my songs currently, they always have dances to them. When we did Bopa, it was, which is a national um, signage, you know, when you go everywhere, when you do this, you know that it means you're getting arrested or something. With the whistles, it's always, you know, referee, or when you're trying to call someone into order, when you're trying to mm. get attention, you use the whistle. <laughs> hey, they killed us now. TikTok and the TikTok challenges and videos, man, it's, it's, it's again another vehicle, you know. Yo, I, I want to make, make this crazy mention, though. Because of social media these days, when people go viral for a sound, like somebody may stutter their toe and they may, you know, grunt it funny. Uh -huh. Somebody will make a beat out of it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So we are making beats out of the smallest things from insects to mm -hmm. truck sounds to somebody stubbing their toe, even whistles. So, mm -hmm. like, shout out to that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, um, that reminds me of one of the current um, trends that's going on. It's kind of dying down, but it's the lady um, in the store who said, uh-uh, get somebody else to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah. everybody is using that little one sound and the lady, like an older lady, just telling him, get somebody <laughs> else to do it. Her voice was unique. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to be yourself. This was all this is yes. about. Being yourself. Authenticity will stick <laughs> more than something you just trying to create, trying to force, trying to make people want to believe. Like, be yourself. That's all that is. Yes. <laughs> Someone watches you do something or takes a video of you doing something and then the next day it's all over social media. You can go into studio one night and the next morning your life has completely changed. Young Stana is one of the genre's youngest rising artists. Mm. His first single, Adiwele, became the hottest track in the country overnight. I mean, Adiwele started in social media. I did my live video with Gabs at just once. They took that live video, the song was dropped the next week, but it wasn't the final. The song was already trending with one. Saying. I'm a like an ecosystem, you know, so many more players are involved, so many more people are able to make a living. But if it's like a 59 second video for Instagram, you can introduce a new song and like see how the fans react to that. Social media is where they push your song. Social media is where someone says, Young Stunner is dope and everyone starts listening. If they say Young Stunner's is we're not going to listen to him, they stop tomorrow. They start tomorrow. Oh, say that twice, huh? For the people yes. in the back. Dances, hey, people get that was a bar, 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 yes. bar, man. Who just want to give a moment for that? I ain't yes. got to try to emphasize that one. Yes, and you know, with that, that that's everybody say that, oh, I want to do social media. Oh, I want to put this product out. Oh, I want to put this song out. Mm -hmm. You got to have tough skin for this. Yeah. Especially yeah. if something is your passion. Mm -hmm. Although you put it out on social media and let's say that somebody don't like it. It's a flop. Go back to the drawing board. Do it again. Mm -hmm. Don't stop. Or while you're on the drawing board and it don't work out that day, and don't work out the next day, or the next, but the next day, all of a sudden you just start doing numbers. And you're like, yo, yo, now you're getting calls, DMs. Mm -hmm. Now your sound is going crazy across right. the platforms. Yeah, you don't stop, bro. You right. just... You believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. That's it. That reminds me of a conversation we was just having on live the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On yeah. Um, how before, like two years ago, um, before we got pregnant with our baby girl, um, we were reacting to African content. Mm -hmm. And people, like, people, they, they, they didn't. I think it was like a, us. yeah, yeah, I think it was like a real first introduction yeah. to, uh, to us to them you know what i'm saying yeah they didn't stick with us it was a lot of a, a lot of nasty things <laughs> being thrown at us just because we wanted to react to african content and in our mind okay um we're grown <laughs> right, right, we're right. very um open-minded respectful but still i believe this was during a time when you know, the whole diaspora talk was going around on social media about Africans versus African-Americans. Oh, I 
absolutely hate that. Um, but it was during that time, so I guess they kind of maybe thought that we were, oh, one of them. Mm-hmm. You know, but... They was trying to, like, they was really sorting us out, trying right. to figure us out on type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? You had people that was just trying to understand, hey, what's up with your channel? This, like, it was a lot that was going yeah. on at that time. Yeah, and now we're doing the same exact thing. The same exact thing, <laughs> That literally. we did two yeah. years ago, and it's like a whole different atmosphere. People are understanding that we just simply want to learn. Mm-hmm. That's it. <laughs> so... You have to have some skin for yeah, this, you got okay? To. Yeah. In South Africa, and they get to fall in love with the moves and copy the moves and learn yeah. on TikTok. He look like he's a um one of those workout fitness fitness coaches that be you know dancing to the beat and stuff. Yeah. That's one of the craziest workouts that you guys can have fun in. Like. Uh huh. Yes. That's Listen, perfect. You don't realize you losing weight or toning up while you're working out. Exactly. Because without the dance move. The song, uh, it can simply go down. You know what I'm saying? So it has to. Even if it's as small as, like, shaking your body. You know what I'm saying? And if that's the trend, we make it move. It's all through cell phones, you know? People <clears throat> get introduced to these songs and they play them on the playlist and that's how it all happened. It's literally given us some sort of a bridge, you know, to the world. I want to stop on what Shay, Shay just said, the vocalist. Um, it is a bridge to the world. And people need to just open their eyes and realize that we are the bridge. Right. Like, we are the connections to the next connection to the next connection. What I say yeah. or do that may be motivational for Sierra, you know what I'm saying? If it moves her, she moves like that as well. What she says and do, if she posted it, it moves someone else. And then the continuous... You know, it, it just keep happening. So we are the right. bridge. Like, we mend stuff together. We make right. it happen. And not only us, people who are on camera, um, a big part of it is the people who interact. Yeah, that's yeah, it's, yeah, that's, that's the angle. Because y'all interacting with the people who's putting out the music, the content, that is having, that, that that's what's building it up. That is what is pushing it. Right. So if there's somebody... Putting out something that you like, support it. There you go. Because that's facts. Bro, by that's you cool, yeah. saying something, that will give other people, oh, I could actually say that. Oh, I was thinking that. You know, that that's what creates a community. Right. Any business that your friend may have, and if you are a part of getting work done from your friend's business, you are just now created a bridge. Yeah. And then by you sharing it out, if it's impactful, as much as it's been for you, that person also has created a bridge. So now you got three friends that know about your business. And them three friends can share it out. And then that can go out crazy right. to millions of people or thousands, however it may go. And now you got a full bridge. You know what I'm saying? The line is just... Full circle. full circle. And that is why I'm a piano have billions of views. Because of bridges. 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 Yeah. You could either build a bridge or burn it down. Oh, they was going to have that one person who's going to try to burn it down. Oh, Lord Jesus. Don't let it get into the wrong hands. <laughs> they want to be like, yeah, I'm going to just stop this for you right yeah, quick. Let me stop I'm this. not feeling what you got going on. <laughs> you didn't involve me sooner. How that was number one person was first, and I'm like the 20th. Mm -hmm. I ain't nobody then. Right. That's how it be for Build me. people up. Build people up. Major League DJs are trailblazers in bringing Amapiano to the world. The YouTube balcony mixes, live DJ sets filmed from different locations around the world, draw in millions of viewers. You know, I'm building, building a genre, building an industry. You can't do it alone. So we, so we say we need to put these people on our platforms. We need to push the culture as, as a whole, push it to their markets. Now, Ama Piano has gone global. In 2021, Spotify's Ama Piano playlist increased by 116 oh, wow. percent. Mm. So the first time I heard it was on Destination Africa with DJ Edu, and it was John Vulugay. And what I loved about that moment is because the bass line was just so unique. It was, it, you can't really describe it until you hear it. And it was so good, I had to stop my date, turn up the radio, and just shazam it. And ever since then, I was like, these lot aren't something big. The babies, man. In 2021, the UK hosted its first ever Amapiano Festival, Amafest. 
fans who refer to themselves as Yanos traveled from everywhere just to see South Africa's biggest act perform. I'm a piano, it's a soul, man. Listen, if you're not if I'm a piano, you got no soul. It, we can't describe that feeling. Like I said, it's... I think the UK is receptive to the piano because it has very many similarities to house music. So when you hear those chords, you're like, mm, this sounds a bit soulful. When you hear the log drum, you're like, oh, this sounds really funky. So it's all those things that people in the UK can connect with. I do hear some funky in there. Bundle, oh, yeah, some groovy yeah. stuff. You feel me? I, hey, I haven't heard no one say it yet, but this is kind of in the same bracket. Some disco. Yeah, I hear a little bit Some of disco. those elements. Yeah. I hear a lot of like the music that they played on Soul Train. Okay, definitely. Soul Train, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like the the vibe. Ooh, y'all saw the Soul Train line with that with some oh, our piano. Y'all gonna cut up. Boy. That, that would be nice. Somebody do that, bro. Somebody I do it. Don't worry about it. I get popping. <laughs> now the sound has spread to dance floors across the world. It's nice to see that it evolved from that point of just being a township sound to now it's globally. Like everybody's recognizing it. Everybody knows if that comes on, that's an Amapiano song. That's how and it that comes starts. From South Africa. Um, it was very interesting because in the beginning, like no one believed in, in the sound on its own and how far it could get, you know? It brings all of Africa together. We've always had like different genres in, in, in Africa, different countries have their own sound. But this one sound is just taken over everywhere. Bring and that's what's beautiful. It's bringing yeah. everyone, everyone together, which is really beautiful. Yeah. I think that's the most amazing part about it. I don't know if we've ever seen anything like this before, but this is the new wave now. I promise you, Amambiano is going to make it to Ibiza and it's not going to leave. Uh, 100%. Right here, Amambiano to the world. You know, it's just like going to someone's house and eating their food and it's stupid good. You don't ask why it's so good. You ask for seconds. <laughs> You yeah. get more, you know what I'm saying? So whenever you hear a new sound like that, you don't be like, why is it so, who, how they was able, like, you don't dig into, you know, the jealousy version of it and be like, what's going on with it? How y'all guys popped off like that? What's mm -hmm. a secret? It's no secret. It's love. It's love in the sound. You know yes. what I'm saying? And people want more of it. That's all it yes. is. It's a very distinctive, fun sound. Mm -hmm. Very different. Anywhere in the world, Miami, Ibiza, um, it's mainly men, white men, who are playing dance music, house music. It's very, very important for women to be more represented in um, as the dance music scene because I think a lot of even just the trends and the vibes come from us. Mm. The vibes come from us. I Ooh. feel very much that black women are at the heart of what drives culture around the world. Definitely. Trap. If it's not bumping in the strip club, it ain't bumping. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, she ain't lying. Wait a minute. She ain't lying. I wasn't ready, sister. <laughs> no, she wasn't. Hey, you, she did catch us for a loop. I ain't, yeah. I ain't expect for her to say that, but that's 100%. She, she does does don't have like, a point. You know, some people even go to the strip club just for the sound mm. because it's, it's a new it's a sound. Yeah, it's a new sound that's, you know, I ain't going to try I don't it. know if they just <laughs> go there for the sound. Some but people, right. bro, go, you know. Yeah, you know what? We're going to continue this bit. They're in the front for the DJ. It's not bumping. I see, like, what I'm happy about, a lot of female DJs. So I see, like, it's really empowering the DJs. So I've seen, like, the DJs going. You're a female there, DJ. Like, it's your work. In these big festivals. Females are very influential. When girls say it, then automatically everyone Definitely. agrees. Especially right. music. We move it. We... We define how it looks. We define what's hot, what's not. Durban Gold was one of the like leading Mapiano female um, artists and and just like dope people, you know. But would even drop the female and just say Durban Gold is one of the leading artists, cultural tastemakers. She is is a really big driving force, a catalyst really for the genre she has been. It's just a beautiful thing to see, like, more of our sisters shine and, 
you know, and not only we, us recognizing their light and their power, you know, the world seeing it. It's so important for women to stick together in the genre. Like, there's so few of us. You will see, obviously, the... Okay. Mm. I hope you guys know who I'm talking about. I hope you guys know. You have to know. Um, the girl right here. I'm bad with names, guys, and I know the stereotype is not... The stereotype is just... When I'm watching documentaries, I don't pay attention to names. I just pay attention to the content. Mm -hmm. But the girl who's on the little DJ thing right here. Yeah. She reminds me of Mia X. And the other girl who had the lollipop in her um, mouth and mm -hmm. was doing the music video, she reminds me of Lil' Kim. <laughs> Those are great, 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 great references. Mm-hmm. I'm not a person that just speak things just to say it. I know I'm in a reaction video right now. I don't just say things just to say it. I, I'm very intentional with the words that I say. They're going to be big. <laughs> I know they're big right now, but they're going to be big. Mm. Monumental. I would I would back it up when you say stuff like that, but I have already witnessed when you say things. <laughs> come I come to play, and I'm like, yeah, just wait on it. Watch. <laughs> Watch. Wait on it now. Are trending the ones that are getting booking, but there's so many more. There has to be a variety of us. Ladies push the music more, you know. A lot of ladies consume the music, a lot of ladies are dancing to the music. So, more ladies being artists and DJs benefit the genre more. I think we just give it that different energy. Girls attract what guys can't necessarily bring. If we could get that in front of the cameras instead of just in the parties. You know, I think we need more representation. That was a bar. Sexy, mm. So you can't have that without women. Mm. Now, Big X, like Burner Boy, WizKid, Georgia Smith, and Davido have jumped on the sound. What's next for Ama Piano is becoming one of the biggest genres in the world. That's what it is. You can't stop it. Your big cats, like your... Oh, your Pete Diddy is listening to my piano. Your the Fat Joe is listening to my piano. Uh, Alicia Keys, Pete Diddy's, Asha. Asha. I mean, dancing to this my piano. So, which means you can see that it's doing something out there. Rapper Vocalistic has made huge waves with two smash hits international collaborations. You know, so for us, it's a proud moment. It's a moment that kind of, you know, validates all that we've been fighting for and at the same time says that, your black child, is, it's your time, you know what I mean? Because all these black kids that are here, you know, had a dream. It all started from one laptop, you know what I mean? Because that's how our piano comes from, you know. That small laptop and that small house is here in London and that's a big deal for us. I see it being its own genre, like apart, like separate from Apple. Billboard, we want to be on the Billboard charts. We're going to be dominating not just the global, those separate playlists that they give us. It can't just be the Ama Piano playlist. We want to be on proper ones. Next for Ama Piano is number one Billboard Grammy. Where do I think it's going? I, I think it's going global. I think in two years' time, uh, we're going to play the O2. Piano playing, taking over the world. Then it's real life that are being changed in the hood. I said, tell take a peanut taco, guys. It means this is not trap. These are songs from my hood. So that's what it's about. Let's elevate each other with Ama Piano. That's what it is. It's our only way out. It's a beautiful moment, a beautiful time. For me, it's like liberation, freedom, excitement, happiness, joy, peace, you know, um, success, growth. It's, it's in the blood, bro. Like, so for me, just to put it into one, it's like freedom. I'm so proud of, 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 of the fact that, you know, my people do so much with so little, you know? We, do, we don't have much, but we can do a lot. You know, here's these kids who started a whole genre on Fruity Loops in shacks and, and, and small government homes, and they, they're taking over the world. It's uniting, you know? It's, it's definitely uniting and, it's it's very spiritual too you know uh if you if you're to listen to okay i want to comment on something that focalistic um said he said it's not trap this is our music mm -hmm. 
That's that's huge. Yeah, that's gonna go over some people's heads. That's, that's that's real huge. That's that's that right there could kind of make me emotional. Um, because I don't know how things are everywhere else, but being from where we're from, little boys always aspire. Not not always, but half of them always aspire to be rappers yeah and by him saying this is not trap trap is our music yeah in america right and i know that y'all listen to it but for the people who are creating i'm a i'm a piano music and the little ones who's coming up they don't have to say i want to be a trap artist anymore they could say i want to be a i'm a piano artists it's more it, 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 i'm a piano artists are like they have so much more control it's y'all sound it's a sound that has so much more control mm -hmm. yeah yeah um i do want to say something here i was gonna try to wait till the end of it but i think um i can say it now you know there's a rhythm that we were that that, that, that was a sound that's a rhythm that has been here before us and it's with us as we grow into generations, into generations, yes. and generations. Yes. So with Ana, Ana Piano coming out, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a it's a sound that is coming out and it's just something going on right now. Something is happening. And you don't want to uh, be stuck. Yeah, you don't want to be stuck in your backyard because yeah. there's something in this world that is happening. This is like global. Because if you listen to sounds, when you hear a sound it get and it goes global, people from China is doing the same exact thing that someone else may be doing in another, you know, continent or something like that, or country or whatever. But when you hear something, like, this is global, so something's yeah. big is happening. Yeah, the awakening. Yeah, the awakening. You know, the, the songs, just in general, like, you feel it. It's, it's, you feel the, the connections, you, you feel the, the energy, you feel it. It's, it's a family. Just like how I'm doing mm -hmm. with my choir, I am slowly but surely putting them on. You know, I, I want to make sure that we, we, we all eat because I can't be eating alone. That's a good mindset. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm a piano is the sound of I'm a young piano. South Africa. It belongs to the township and the dance floor. And now, the world is watching. Bam! All right, y'all. This was a dope one. This was a good one. This was this was hey, like I was like I was saying, man. I can use gospel for reference. You know what I'm saying? When gospel is in play, it, you can look around the whole world and see gospel. You know what I'm yes. saying? And yes. then at some point in your life, if you wasn't born around the sound of gospel, you will eventually get involved mm -hmm. without even realizing it. And it's global, and you don't want to be, you don't want to miss that train when right. it come through. Right. So on the piano, is it? It's like it's live, it's local, mm -hmm. it's fresh. <laughs> you don't want to miss it. Yes. When people think of I'm a piano, they're gonna think of South Africa. Right. So right. I have something big. Continue to build them bridges, though. Yes. <laughs> All over, regardless of what you what you're doing, your purpose, your sound. Your work, man, like continue to build that bridge, man, and, and bless people with it. Like he mm -hmm. said, he can't be eating alone. He got to right. continue to bless people so they can eat too. So yes. that's huge. Yes. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way, as well as our join feature to become a VIP member of the channel. Send in your reaction request through the form in the description box below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.